Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at the feelings test for an aldehyde. So this is going to be a test for an aldehyde. Here I have some failings A and some failings B solutions and I'm just going to mix uh, equal amounts of those to produce our failings test reagent. Obviously you should do it much more accurately than just using little pastel pets. And you can see that after I mix it, this is going to be a lovely, lovely dark blue solution. So here I have um, some sodium carbonate and I'm just going to take five drops, one, two, three, four, five drops of my failing test solution in there and I'm going to add the aldehyde and heat it. I'm just adding in my aldehyde sample and then I'm going to heat it. So here is my sample that I'm heating here. Already we can start to see a colour change at the top here. And now we can start to see the red colour coming through. So this is the results of our test with failing solution. You can see that it's got a horrible brown, dull, murky precipitate. Not very nice at all. We can use failing solution to test for an aldehyde. It will only work with an aldehyde. It will not work with a ketone, even though I know these two functional groups look very, very similar. You can see the differences in structure here. And a failing solution will only give a positive result for aldehydes and not ketones. The parts in the failing solution that we're actually interested in are going to be the copper ions and the hydroxide ions. And it is the copper reacting to make copper 1 oxide which is going to give us a red precipitate. Ouch. Mm, I'll be too crammed. 